my name is Father Rick Riscavage. I'm a Jesuit from the Maryland province of the Society of Jesus. I'm a professor of sociology at Fairfield University and also the founding director of the Center for Faith and Public Life there, which is a center where we uh, look at social and political issues that intersect with uh, social problems and the faith issues, religious values and things like that. I was always interested in developing a gender research arm of the Center for Faith and Public Life and uh, I was looking for the, the right project to sort of begin with and, uh, as a pilot project and I heard of Hillary Clinton's uh, priority of uh, elevating the value of the girl child and they were struggling at the State Department to figure out ways that they could concretely try to elevate the girl child in different societies in different countries around the world. We focused on India because of our connections there, the Jesuit University system which is so strong in India and, uh, and the fact that uh, the language communication was a lot easier than in some other areas of the world. The problem is in India right now uh, it has an exploding middle class, uh, you know, growing affluence and yet the 2011 census came out and there was a, 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 a serious demographic problem of imbalance between boys and girls in the society which if left go is going to create serious serious problems in the future because of the lack of women in the workforce and also in marriage partners and, uh, and other major issues for our culture that uh, India will have to address. The government of India sees the problem and is, wants to address it and but it's not always clear how to address it and so we, uh, we were hoping this research will point us in a direction of uh, addressing the problem in concrete ways you know, for the future. Although there, there's a desire to f address the problem, there isn't much research into what really is going on within the family context when people make a decision to terminate the girl. And the, uh, we wanted to figure that out a little better and so we designed a sample, a preliminary study of two cities in India where had two Jesuit universities, one in Mumbai, uh, the Xavier College, and Loyola College in Chennai, which is in Madras, uh, old Madras area. Was, it's a delicate uh, study. We had to be, you know, sensitive to the feelings and people and family, and, and it was. Uh, but I think the Indians help us put together a culturally appropriate sort of uh, instrument uh, that we could interview the families with and things like that. And we were quite pleased with the results of it. I came with some of my assumptions, which was that it was a problem of the lower class, of, of people who couldn't afford a girl because they have a dowry. You know, that's the traditional explanation of why it's too expensive to have a girl. And that's true. Our study showed that the families did believe that the, the, the girl was too expensive for them. But there's a great deal of termination of pregnancies going on at the highest levels of society, economic levels of society. And that's one of the issues we really want to take a look at in the future to try to see what the dynamics are in a family like that. Because we looked at the lower middle class and, uh, and that's what we, the, the segment that we, we looked at. But I think it's going on in all areas of Indian society and it it, you know, it seems to be rooted again in, in the cultural value that's placed on the woman in society and the, the, uh, even in upper class society which talks about women's rights even, you, you find the practice going on, uh, you know, sort of behind closed doors. It, it, it opened my eyes, I think, to um, the complexity of the dynamic. It's not so simple as saying you can't have a sonogram, you know. It, it, you, we're going to have to find other ways of convincing families that that uh, yes, it's worth it to have a girl and to educate her and to provide health for her and to bring her to f you know, full uh, flourish as, as a human being. For me, it's a moral issue of the, protecting the dignity of the human person, a, a Catholic social teaching which is shared by a lot of religions and even people of non-faith that really uh, you can't discount any member of the human family in a way that sort of just says uh, that they're not as valuable as another member of the human family.